Hey, what up, fuckers? It's your boy Abow from Project Rogue coming at you today with another 5M tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be sitting down with the popular graphics mod NVE and ENB series, and we are going to make our Grand Theft Auto 5 look fantastic. This is for those who don't know how to do this. It's going to be a step by step voice tutorial. Sit back, relax, grab a juice box, and let's get going. A notable reference is going to be our description below. You are definitely going to want to keep an eye on that. All the links that I show you inside of this tutorial are right in there. Now, this first step is completely understandable. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, but just know that it might mess things up in the future. So just want to give that forewarning. However, to start us off with, we are going to go ahead and uninstall 5M. We're going to uninstall GTA and we're going to install that freshly to my PC. So I have a fresh copy of everything. To delete the 5M, it is pretty easy. You simply hit your Windows icon. You're gonna type in uninstall and click the first option. Once you are in this screen, simply scroll on down till you find 5M, hit the little three dots and hit uninstall. A menu will populate asking you if you're sure, just go ahead and hit yes and wait for the deletion to complete. Next to delete your Grand Theft Auto, if you have it on Steam, this will be for you. If you have it on Epix, it will be a little bit different to uninstall and install, but should be the same gist. Head on over to your game library, find Grand Theft Auto, hit the little gear icon on the right hand side, hit manage and do uninstall. Now, once we hit uninstall, we can go ahead and start installing this bad boy again. So go ahead and hit that install button. You go ahead and pick where you want it to be installed and we will get started. Depending on your internet speeds and your connection, this will take either an hour or 14 hours, it really depends on your internet. As you can see here, mine is done and we can go on to our next step. This next step is quite easy. You're going to open up the description below. Head on over to the first link. That is going to be the Patreon that you will purchase in order to get access to the legitimate copy of NVE. You either need to get the gold or the platinum status, whatever one you go with. Perfect. Now, once you have paid for either the 10 or the $15 gold or platinum membership, you will get access to his full Patreon where you can go ahead and directly download the link from his Patreon. So right here, this is his Patreon. If we scroll down here, find the 5M package. We're gonna go ahead and click on that one and it will instantly start downloading. It's about a 20 minute download, so hang out. All right, we have Grand Theft Auto 5 downloaded. We have our mod downloaded. Now we need to download the 5M client. So go to the second link, that's gonna be to 5M and let's go ahead and download that. Once you're on a 5M's main page, you simply hit download client at the bottom right, hit you agree and it will start downloading. We're gonna wanna make a folder for this. Uh, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on your desktop. You can put it in a folder. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my E drive. To do this, I'm gonna simply just right click here. I'll make a new folder. I'll call it 5M and we're gonna drag that application inside of here. And now we can launch it. Just a piece of technical advice. Every time that you reinstall Grand Theft Auto 5, you reinstall 5M, you clear your cache on 5M, you're gonna have to do this. It does take quite a bit of time, so just hang out, relax, and let it do its thing. Once it does all of the good update and stuff that 5M does, it's gonna pop up a box, and it wants you to define Grand Theft Auto 5. We need to find our Grand Theft Auto 5. It's pretty easy if you have it through Steam. This is how you find it. So find your Steam folder. I know where mine is. Mine is in my E drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and find Steam. We are then gonna find Steam apps. We're gonna go to common. And then find Grand Theft Auto 5. Here we have found Grand Theft Auto 5. You need to click on GTA.exe and it will find it. All right, so once our 5M is done updating, we want to launch into 5M and we're gonna do a couple of setting tweaks here. So go ahead and you're gonna go to your top right and let's set up our settings. I'm gonna go ahead and also link my CFX account. This is also important for some servers, so I just go ahead and do it. There we go. All right, here under the game settings, you wanna make sure all of these boxes are ticked. It's super important, especially these last two. This is gonna show you when you guys are downloading your guys' assets. So these are super important. Down here, also, you can also turn off the music. A lot of people don't know that, side note. Let's go ahead and do also the latest unstable release, and that should be good. We're gonna go ahead and exit off of this and give it a nice little refresh. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna launch backup 5M, and we're gonna go ahead and connect on over to Project Rogue Roleplay. 
Here, we're going to go ahead and edit some of our in-game settings to make sure we're prepared for next time we fly in. One thing I do want to highlight here is some of the settings that I set up for you in your 5M are going to allow you to know when you're downloading assets in any server that you play in. If you see down here in the lower right, you're going to see that I'm downloading assets. It's important that you download these assets and so when you see this box populate, it lets the player know that you're downloading assets, you're not lagging, and that you just need to wait until these assets are downloaded. This box comes from that setting that I had you set up within your 5M settings right before this. This will happen to you every single time that you either clear your cache, you re-download Grand Theft Auto 5, or you re-download 5M. Also, if you're new to a server or a city, this is going to happen to you every single time. Simply drive around, you'll see this box populate all the time, and once you stop seeing it populate, you're good to play. Now that we are connected to Project Rogue Roleplay, what we're gonna go ahead and do is hit our escape button, we're gonna go to our settings, and we're gonna start tweaking some of our graphic settings. I will try to make this as easy as possible for everyone to understand. However, if you need to, just simply pause the video and you can copy these settings. Head on over to your advanced graphics where you need to make sure that you have long shadows, high resolution shadows, and high detailed streaming while flying. Turn those on. And then extended distance scaling and extended shadows distance. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn those up as well. Once your advanced graphics settings look like mine, go ahead and hit apply changes or you can hit your spacebar. Next, let's head on over to graphics where there is some critical important settings that we go ahead and tweak in here. The first one being go to post FX. You need to make sure that this is at least ultra or very high. Very important that you do that. And then let's go to particles quality and make sure that that is set to very high. After you get those, let's go all the way to the top of the list and make sure that our direct X version is on direct X 11. Now this part of the tutorial is critical. However, it is also customizable. Players can go ahead and set this up however they want out of those settings that I just showed you. However, do keep in mind that if you are going to copy my settings, I do have a pretty beefy PC and my PC can definitely handle a lot that most can't. Your goal is to basically make that top bar that is green. You wanna make sure that that stays in the green, but right under yellow. So if you are getting in the yellow, make sure to go one down or two down to make sure that you get back into the green. Now, this extended texture budget option is super important. It is super important to completely fill this as much as possible. This allows your textures to not flicker or go in and out in long distancing. All right, after you're completely done editing all of your settings, go ahead and apply those changes. You need to hit either hit the space bar or go in the bottom right and hit apply changes. Once you've applied those changes, most of you are gonna need to even exit out of 5M anyway. However, if you didn't need to exit, go ahead and hit F8 and type in quit, and let's go to our desktop. Now we are going to actually install NVE and ENB into our GTA 5 and our 5M. So to get us started off with, let's right click on 5M and go open file location. Here, we're gonna need this folder, the 5M application data. It can usually be found at the top of that. And we're gonna just leave this open. Let's go ahead and minimize this for a minute and then open up the NVE package. Let's move this to the left. So when you're in the NVE package, you wanna locate the main package folder. So let's open up the main package folder and you're gonna see a mods folder. You're gonna open up that mods folder and you're gonna to go to the right on 5M application data and open up that mods folder. You're then going to select all of this that's in the NVE package and we're gonna go ahead and move all of that into the mods folder. This mods folder can always be found in your 5M application data folder. So simply if you ever need to find this or locate it again, simply locate this folder. All right, now that we are all done with that, what we're gonna do is we can go on back inside of the NVE package and we're gonna go ahead and install ENB into our GTA 5. Let's go ahead and click into the ENB required folder. And in here, you will see a low setting, a normal setting, and an ultra setting. These three settings are gonna be for what type of PC that you run. There is a low setting for lower end PCs, so you can use that. However, I recommend the normal if you can, and ultra if you have a good PC. To install the ENB, it is quite simple. We're just gonna locate that GTA 5 directory again. So mine was found on my E drive. We're gonna go to Steam. Let's find Steam Apps and Comet and Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so we want to install whatever package that we want inside of here. So 
I am going to do the ultra. So let's open up this ultra folder and I simply highlight everything in here and I drag it right into that directory. Do replace this file and destination. Go ahead and click that. And there you go. You just successfully installed ENB. All right. The last part of this tutorial is installing our optionals. So to install our optionals, all we need to do is right click on 5M, do open file location, 5M application data and mods. Then what we want to do is we want to open up that NVE and go to the optional add-ons. And all of these are optional add-ons that you can add into there to add optional effects. Some of them are seasonal like the Christmas and Halloween. However, this one is Northern Lights. This one's pretty cool. We'll add this one. We're just gonna add them all. We're gonna add them all. Let's just add all of these. Some of these I will highlight like the Paradox Roads. These are insane roads that are completely custom. They look great. However, if your server uses vegetation, you will need to disable the roads due to the fact that they are going to look different and they will overlap textures. Highly recommend the ultra intensity emergency lights. It makes all emergency lights look fantastic. Highly, highly recommend that one. And then one of the new things that they came out with is street lights. So you can actually click on this image PNG and you can actually see what they all look like. I really like the teal, so highly recommend the teal option. To install the lights, it's pretty easy. You drag this file on over into the 5M application data. However, this shaders input, you're gonna need to go ahead and put that into your GTA 5 directory. So just keep that in mind. Also do remember that at any time you can pause this video and see everything I'm doing. I'm showing everything on the screen. All right, I replaced that shaders input and now we should be good to go on that. Yes, okay. Let's go back. Perfect. If you want enhanced motion blur, you can. I hate motion blur, so I'm not going to use it. And we're good to go. We are good. We're ready to rock and roll, ladies and gents. The last and most rewarding thing to do is test it all out. Let's go ahead, launch 5M, connect to Project Rogue Roleplay, and let's go check it out. I will give a brief forewarning that you did just customize the living hell out of your GTA. So when you first connect, you're going to see that in the bottom right, if you have the same settings that I used, you're going to see the assets are downloading. More and more assets are gonna download as we connect due to the fact that we just did a complete retexture of the entire world. So keep that in mind and don't worry if you're lagging or anything like that. Drive around the city, get those textures really embedded and then judge it. Let's go ahead, we'll connect into the city and we'll do a little visual showcase of some of the visuals that you can expect within this mod. The game is completely re-overhauled. I mean, every single texture has basically been edited. The water looks fantastic. The cityscapes look great. The cars look awesome. The reflections look real. The weather looks amazing. There's really nothing to complain about this mod. I really have not found anything to complain about so far using the newest updated NVE as far as September 2022. And a little side note, ladies and gents, the interior and first person mode in this Mercedes G900, fucking phenomenal. And there you go, ladies and gents. That is how you install the latest NVE and ENB as of September 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did and you guys did learn something, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help me out and it takes you 10 seconds. Drop a comment in the comment sections below. Let me know what you think of NVE and ENB. And are you rocking it? Let me know in those comments. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are at in the world. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.